Less than 35, random sort. In this lesson, we'll take a look at how to randomly sort a list using the rand function. Alright, so here we have a list of people and let's say you're a classroom teacher and you need to figure out uh, the order that these students will do their oral book reports. Rather than alphabetically going through the list, which would mean that Aaron has to go first all the time, you could sort these randomly. I'm going to add a new column called random and in this column, I'm going to use one of Excel's functions called the rand function. It requires no arguments, so we just put an open and closing parentheses at the end. I'll press control enter, which will give me random numbers throughout the spreadsheet. I can now choose one cell in the random column and click A to Z and this is the random list of how the students should do their book reports. You'll notice that every time I click A to Z, I get a new sequence to the list. Now, if you look at this closely, you might notice, well, wait a second, the largest number is not at the bottom of the list and the smallest number is not at the top. This doesn't appear to be going in any sequence. Well, here's what's happening. Excel sorts the data based on the old numbers and then after the sort, we'll recalculate the random function. We can see this in slow motion by going to Excel Options and on the Formulas tab, going back to Manual Calculation. Click OK. So we have some numbers here. When I click A to Z, sure enough, the smallest number, 0 0.03, comes first down to the largest number, 0.93. And then Excel calculates the spreadsheet. That's why, after doing the sort, the numbers don't appear to be in any sequence. Of course, this happens so fast, you don't actually get to see that the numbers were in a certain sequence and then switch back to new random numbers. We'll switch back to automatic calculation and again, now every time we press the A to Z button, we're getting a new sequence for the list. I know the uh, local board of elections, a great story, they had some argument between the two parties and they agreed to use a random sort like this. But there was a great argument over whether they would recalculate three times or six times before doing the random sort. I'm not sure that it matters at all, but uh, it made for a good story. Well, I hope you found that helpful and thanks for watching. Looking to advance your career by acquiring new skills? Tired of expensive off site training programs? Wish you could learn from the best instructors in the industry? Look no further than Live Lessons, self-paced personal video instruction by the world's leading technology publishers. Each live lesson comes with a DVD featuring three to four hours of instructor-led classroom training, sample program code that allows you to work along with your personal instructor, and an example-rich study guide. Live lessons allow you to watch the entire course from start to finish or navigate directly to any of the individual lessons. You'll literally watch over the shoulder of your instructor as he shows you how to build state-of-the-art applications. Live lessons, the power of the world's leading technology experts at your fingertips. To learn more, visit mylivelessons.com today.